Hey everybody, Ducks in here. As you can see, still in the boxes that I got yesterday. I'm still trying to get through it. But anyways, I thought I'd make a quick video on the PTS and what I've seen so far. Uh, so right now, as you can see, I'm in actually what we call Manon. And it's, you actually have to go through this, uh, you go to the, uh, it's, there's a droid, it's a purple droid, the same droid that you did the, uh, the Core Man and Titan. Uh, Forge Alliance arced with, you go back to that same droid, which is the one to the west at the fleet uh, for Imperial uh, troops that do not know which side it is on for uh, pub side. But anyways, it's a purple droid, hard to miss on the outside ring of the fleet. So you go there, you start your quest, and then eventually it'll ask you to go to Manon. And it's, uh, if you go to your uh, map, it's the the little uh, island in the middle that has Corellia and all these things. There's also outside the, that that well, I would say island, but continent, I guess, for a word, uh, lack of a better term. Anyway, there's on the side there's Manon, and then you go there, and then here you are, and it just looks amazing, guys. I just love it. I think I think it's a really really well done addition, and it's it's they're starting. I don't know. It's, to me, it seems like they're closing on. The actual actual lore that's out uh, out there, instead of like just making up their own, they're starting to really try to to get into these things, and that was risky because Kotor is such an iconic game, and it has been on in it, and they actually pulled it off. I think it's better. <laughs> I think it looks really really good, uh, and you go through the flashpoints. I, I'm sorry I had footage, but I completely fucked it all up. But anyway, the uh, Manon flashpoint looks great. The bosses, all three bosses are great. Good mechanics, different stuff that we haven't seen quite yet. And in, in Swotor that is. And now they're going to basically be, uh, uh, I just, the only thing I wish that, that leaves me kind of eh, is it needs to have higher levels of, of, I keep asking for that. And I think it, needs to happen people keep talking about lost island because not everybody was able to go through it have an easy version with nothing uh, crazy for gear and have a like nightmare or a hard mode version of flashpoint so you can give a challenge smaller challenge to a bunch of guys that are not like a big gill or anything like that it's fun it's it's challenging and that's what the whole thing's about is having a little bit of a challenge so i i know some people don't want challenge and that's fine they have the story mode for that or as this is a technical flashpoint you don't i mean even though some of the spots i just don't see it being very easy to do without a healer but i guess depends right some of the boxes bosses are very technical and if you if you don't have a healer it might be a little bit tough not like quad where it's actually fairly easy but besides the, the, the level of, like, you know, I, I, I just, uh, besides that, I just really enjoyed the experience in there. And there seems to be, people seem to think that there's another uh, entrance to something, either a flashpoint or whatever. It's possible. I know when I looked at the Sultan Minor data, there was something called Flashpoint Havoc, which I don't think anyone knows where it is. So so that could be future details going into that we don't know but uh i just thought it was really well done and then you get to they also have a a rep vendor and then the items that you get are the manon research data and then these items are going to go like hotcakes especially the first three this is pretty shitty i would say it just nothing nothing strikes me as great but the uh, the weapons are just amazing. I mean, look at this stuff. It just looks great. It doesn't seem to change the color of that. The, the little, like, uh, watery kind of effect. I guess we'll see when it goes live. And then you also have a one-handed weapon as well. And you can dual wield it as well. The only thing that's weird is the way the angles of the swords. But that might be tweaked when it goes live. Or maybe it does actually look cool when you start swinging and stuff. But right now, it just looks like you're trying to cut yourself with this one. And this one's okay. I guess that's too, too bad. And then, the mount. The mount, just awesome design. New. It's cool. And the best of all, it's not on the cartel market. I can't stand seeing stuff on the cartel market so much anymore. 
all the it seems like everything that's cool was on there for a while now actually this is new and it looks pretty awesome so and that requires 20 any other one uh, four and six so people are going to be going through there quite a bit to get those things and then i'm sure they don't have any decorations yet but i would not be surprised if that changed there is one decoration all, uh, uh, on the last boss that drops it's a cell cat uh, statue i think anyways i'll show you what it looks like it, there's i think an example somewhere in here it's not quite like this but it has that logo on it and it's a little lower i just can't find it here but anyways you get the idea yeah i don't see it in here i think it was somewhere else that i saw it so the arc uh, the the forge alliance uh, anyways uh, keeps going and then it really gets uh, there's a big twist with this one and it kind of gives you a really good idea of where they're going with the expansion we don't know exactly for sure yet but there's like we uh, it revolves around the revenites we just don't know if that means Revan is coming back or whatever else and i'm not going to go into more details than that but again there's definitely something forming up and it sounds like it's going to be pretty awesome by the time it gets revealed uh, later down the year so again manon awesome uh, so this is it for video one and i'll be right back with another video in a few moments